Hi everyone, so uh, this first video I'm going to show you how to resize some images. So the first thing I do is I have a folder with the images that I want to resize in Photoshop. Um, and this is on my desktop in this folder called Images for GIF. So I'm going to double click the folder to open it. Double click, it opens and we see here I have nine images numbered 001 to 009. Now I'm going to use these images to make an animated GIF and I have numbered them accordingly as in number one is the first image I want to work with, number 002 is the second image I want to work with. And when working in computers I always la label my files or number my files 001 and 002 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, as this is called alphanumeric numbering and this is the way computers read numbers and it will take them in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sequence. If I don't label them or number them 001 and I just number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the danger is the computer will take number 1 first, number 10 second, number 11, number 2, number 20, number 22. And I think my files have got all mixed up. So this is a really good habit to get into um, now is numbering your files like this. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do is when... These are the files I'm going to work with and I'm going to resize, but I always make a folder to um, save my resized files into that I, I call resized um, images. So they're the files I'm going to work with and now on my desktop I'm going to make another folder. So I'm working on a Macintosh computer, so I'm going to press control and I'm going to click and I get the option then to make a new folder. And I say new folder, which has come up over here and I'm going to name it resized images. So I can just type when that's blue right in um, the box here. So resized images for GIF. Okay, which we're going to look at how to make later. Now that I'm ready to go, I'm going to open Photoshop. So I have Photoshop down here in my taskbar. If I double click, it should open and then I'm going to choose one of the images to open. So I go straight to file, say open and um, in my images for GIF folder here, I'm in it, I'm going to pick my first image and it's an image of my hand with the letter A drawn over it. So I'm going to say image size or image open. So it opens in Photoshop and then I want to resize this for the web because it's quite a big image. It's um, recorded at a high resolution for print and I want to make it suitable for the web. So I go over to image and down to image size. So the first thing I have to do for the web is change the resolution. Okay, so the resolution is number of pixels per inch. Um, I make sure resample is turned on, so that means resample, just get rid of the image, the pixels or resample the pixels based on the resolution I tell it to be. So I'm going to say 72 dpi. So up here I can see that my width is 1200 pixels and the height of my image is 800. So I might just leave it at that for the beginning. I've just made it a smaller resolution but I'm leaving uh, the width and the height the same. Um, and I'm going to say okay. So now we see it's gotten much smaller but if I look here this says 25% here. So that means I'm only viewing it at 25%. So at 100% on my screen, it's still quite a big image. Okay, so I'm delighted now. I've got it resized. And I'm going to say File, Save As. So I'm saving this to a new location. I'm not saving it in its folder. I'm saving it back in the other folder on the desktop that I just made called Resized Images for GIF. And what I always do then is just because I, am, I know that's resized, that's resized and saved at 72 dpi. So I might write 72 um, dpi in my image size, in my image name. Um, I'll actually call it 001, 72 uh, dpi here. And then I always know that that's my, my web resolution. Okay, press save, 
press OK and then I can close my image and then that is me having set resized an image for the web and if we look at the two side by side so this is my resized image for the web we can see that it's 750 kilobits so that's how small it is the dimensions are 1296 and I will just open it here and it still looks quite big and then but compared to the original image which I can see here 001 and we can see there that it's 10 megabytes and it's 5760 in dimensions so it's much much bigger image sometimes the computer just um, is showing them to me at the same size here but they're actually different dimensions it's doing that it's um, the viewing system I'm using to look at it but if we look at the info and this is really handy in the Mac that you can see any info here about your image if you're viewing your files like this the other way you can see information is if you click on your file and press command I and it will pop up a little box that tells you all about the image that you you have and that's also really useful okay so that's how we simply we resize an image for the web.